Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So today, we're going on a motorcycle trip, me and William. I'm here at William's house, and um, William's getting ready. We're gonna call this trip the Texas Triangle. We're leaving here from San Antonio. I think we're heading to either Dallas or Houston, but um, William's here doing some cleanup, last minute cleanup. And um, I don't know how this trip's gonna go. We just, I just came up with it and, um, and we're just gonna go away for the weekend. Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend of uh, May, 2024. The weather is kind of overcast and um, like a 20% chance of rain. Let's just hope we don't, we don't hit it, but we always seem to find it. All right, so we stopped in Blanco, Texas. This little restaurant, 419, here in, in the town square of Blanco. We're gonna head up to Hamilton, and then from there, we're on 281, heading north. Here's this Texas uh, County Courthouse in Texas. They are really nice here in Texas. And uh, there's an example, I guess, the Blanco Courthouse. So let's get down the road. So this is where I realized I didn't have any audio. My mic and my helmet stopped working for some reason. Um, and um, but anyway, let me talk a little bit about the trip. We are going to go up to Fort Worth, uh, on down to Houston, and then come across to San Antonio. This was a our yearly motorcycle trip that me and William take but it's normally out of state we usually fly somewhere rent bikes and tour whatever state we're in but this time uh, we just decided to do something here in Texas but we did it in the wrong time there's William practicing figure, his figure eights he likes to brush up on that this year we decided to do it here in Texas but the problem was it's hot as hell and uh we, we soon realized that, you know what, it's not a good idea to do a motorcycle trip during, uh, in May, June, July, August, I mean, it's, it stays, it stays hot down here, and it just takes a lot of energy and saps you out. Check out this RV, that's fancy. Anyway, um... So this is highway here, it's 281, we're going to head up, we're going to turn off on Hamilton, I can't remember the name of the road there in Hamilton, but that takes you, I think, through Glen Rose where the dinosaur footprints park is at, and then you go into Fort Worth, and that's where we spent the night. So um, it was a good trip, I'm recording this afterwards of course, because you know I didn't realize I'd lost the audio. And, um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's see how this day goes. So this town here is Marble Falls. Marble Falls has the Colorado River going through it. Well known for its uh, water sports. Inks Lake State Park is here also. This is a nice town in the Texas Hill Country that there's the Colorado River. Uh, we like to come through here, it's not too far, it's about 60, 50 miles north of San Antonio more or less. Uh, it's a beautiful little quaint town, has a nice downtown area, has some breweries out there, some microbreweries. Right over here in the corner over here is a, uh, is a restaurant that we like to eat at. It has excellent pie, the Blue Bonnet Cafe. It's kind of famous and um, we like to go there. Well, we made it to Lampasas. We got some gas and uh, we're here at uh, Kefco. Uh, well, I did go the wrong way. I did go around. Somehow we got off of 281 and we started going down some other road. But anyway, uh, we're on the right path now. Well, we stopped here in Hamilton. We run into some weather, but it looked like we missed it. Bikes got a little dirty. 
but uh, we're going to be, we're like an hour and a half away from uh, Ham uh, Fort Worth, Texas. So we're in a little town called Hamilton and we're hoping to miss the weather. So we made it here to Fort Worth uh, at the Holiday Inn Express. We're going to uh, unpack everything and get some and get a bite to eat and see what trouble we can find. All right, so this is the next day. We're leaving uh, this Holiday Inn here in Fort Worth. We're going to go down I-35 down to Waco and then from there we're going to shoot across uh, on some smaller roads over there. We're going to go to um, Call it city and then down 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 to Missouri City, which is where my sister lives. Uh, we're gonna spend the night there in Houston. The bikes got a little dirty because we hit some water. We didn't actually hit any rain, we just uh, ran into some water. The bike got a little messy. Williams packing up his last bit there, and then we'll be on the road. Okay, so I pulled over to the side of the road, uh, waiting for William. The uh, headset, these Santa headsets ain't worth the shit. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wait for William to get gas. I, I, thought, I, I thought I understood that he, he uh, had plenty of gas, but I guess he didn't and he had to turn off. I was gonna hold off till we got to Bucky's, but uh, it doesn't seem to be that uh, that's when we left the hotel. So anyway, they're just waiting for William. Well, I was gonna go over to Bucky's, but if you can see across the street, it is a freaking madhouse over there. Oh my God. So we're over here just across the street is another gas station and it's open pumps, but you go right across the street, it's crazy over there. Just crazy at Bucky's. All right, so we made it to Waco. William wanted some barbecue, and we went way out of our way so he could have his barbecue. So let's go in and enjoy this. All right, so we just finished our <laughs> delicious barbecue, and uh, William's killing the last bit of the tr of the chicken there. So, what's your impression of the Texas Triangle so far? Did you tell him what the Texas Triangle is? The Texas Triangle is, well, in our case... I made that up too, by the way. Uh, okay, I'll let... All right. Anyway, let's move on. Um, in our case, we started in San Antonio, went up to Fort Worth, and now we're going down to Houston, and then we'll cut across back to San Antonio, forming a triangle. And um, we don't really... Ha we really didn't have the roads m mapped out or anything. We just... Um, just started going and making it up as we went. Uh, we went up 281, uh, cut across over to Fort Worth, and we, we got, spent. Almost got hailed. And almost got hailed out. Yeah, we missed the hell because we 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 missed the weather, and uh, the people at the gas station said, "Yeah, it just stopped raining, but it also was hailing." I said, okay. Well, anyway, so uh, we went into Waco and. It's yeah, it is. It's 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 yeah, it's hot and humid, you know. It's uh, well, how come we don't learn? We went to Big Ben in the summer as well, and we sweated out, and now we're sweating it out again. October, yeah, we got to do this in October. yeah, uh, I don't well, it is Texas, so we should next trip if we're going to do a Texas trip, do it in the fall or the winter time is the best time. For us, maybe <laughs> early spring. Early spring, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, but brutal. so from Waco, so we're here in Waco, and we're gonna head down to Houston. Well, actually, to Missouri City, and um, uh, which is a suburb of uh, Houston. But we went down I-35 from Fort Worth down to to Waco. Nothing uh, spectacular there. My mic, my microphone stopped working, so I haven't Ooh. filmed. So. But now we're gonna pull off of Waco and the road should get smaller and maybe I'll do some filming and I'll have to do some voiceovers for it. But uh, that's where we're at. We're here in Waco, Texas. Still ready. 
Willie's, uh, Woody's, Rudy's is packed today. I keep saying it wrong. Um, it's, it is packed today and um, the barbecue at, Wood, at Rudy's is not exactly the best, but it was convenient and um, it's a chain restaurant here in Texas. I've seen them out in Colorado and other places, but it, it uh, started here in Texas. We're gonna finish up our meal and then head down the road. Well, we're here in some little town. I don't even know what the name of this town is. Uh, we just stopped and get some gas. Uh, just a little town. I can tell you this Highway 6, this runs from uh, Waco. Looks like it's gonna run pretty close all the way to Houston. Uh, it's a pretty nice road. I tell you, it's one of the nicest roads that we've been on uh, this whole trip. Good morning. We're on the last day of our trip. We just left my sister's house. We're here in uh, we're here in uh, Missouri City, Texas, just outside of uh, Houston. We're gonna take Highway 90 back to San Antonio. Uh, it's gonna take us through Rosenberg, uh, Hattiesville, uh, Gonzales, Seguin. It just runs along. Uh, I-10, so we're uh, we're gonna try to stay off the major thoroughfare all the way into San Antonio. All right, William, we're on the last leg of the Texas Triangle. So, what do you think? Well, we're going down Highway 90 from from Houston all the way into Seguin, Texas. And uh, it's a nice country road. It's, we just need to do it at a different time of the year. <laughs> yeah, no more summer, yeah, summer don't, rides. Uh, this is not, Texas is not a place to travel in the motorcycle during the summer, I think. Unless you just but we, Ernest, we start know real early. We know that. We know that. But, but there we are. <laughs> it's, we always take a trip during this time of the year, but it's usually like in Colorado or somewhere where the it's nice. Climate is colder, so we stopped here to get some water like we normally do, and uh, just a little quaint little town. I think it's called Eagles Nest or something like that. Eagles something town. It's a very small town, right off of Highway 90. Highway 90 is uh, is a nice little road, even if you're not traveling by motorcycle. Let's say you're traveling in between uh, San Antonio and. Uh, Houston, instead of going down I-10 like everybody does, just take a Highway 90. It runs parallel with with the uh, the, the road, and it'll give you that country road trip experience. Was this the road before they built the tent? I, I'm thinking it was. It seems like because it runs like it's only just a few miles to the north of us is I-10, and uh, this runs directly. Uh, you know, along it, and uh, and it's pretty quick. I, I mean, we're we're averaging about yeah. seventy to sixty-five uh, miles an hour. So, you know, most of in in the I ten traffic, it's almost normal to go around 85, 90 miles an hour. I mean, I see it all the time on ten. People really haul ass on. I-10, but if you're not in a big hurry and you want to go through the little small towns, you can even stop in Gonzales. It's got a lot of history there uh, and uh, and make a little trip out of it. So just just an alternative route. Uh, this is the last leg of the Texas Triangle. You know, last night, well, William says he's he claims the title of naming the trip the Texas Triangle, and I did a search last night on Google. There is no, I have not seen a motorcycle trip called the Texas Triangle. 
What they're referring to, Texas Triangle, is San Antonio, uh, San Antonio, Dallas, Metroplex, and Houston as the economic hubs of Texas. Over 78% of the money made in Texas is from that area. It's, and, uh, and right in the middle of it, too, is Austin, Texas. So all the major cities are within the triangle. So we're gonna cool down quaint country town gas station and uh, they have a little place here where you can sit down they got a lot of ice all right we're gonna get back on the road here a little bit Went ahead and uh, stopped in Gonzales for some ice cream at the local dot at the Dairy Queen. It's a full house uh, here on a Sunday. All right, so we had uh, ice cream to cool down, and uh, we're here in, Gon in Gonzales. I've made a video here in reference to Gonzales. This is the Come and Take It town, one of the first battles of. Uh, Texas and Mexico occur right here. Well, I don't know as much of a battle. They just came to get the cannon and uh, a little skirmish was here. You can see the flag up in the distance at half mass for today is, well, this is Memorial Day weekend. I guess tomorrow's Memorial Day. I'm not really sure what day it is. Anyway, we're gonna get on down here. We got about an hour and a half left to get back to Santone and uh, this is the last leg.